Hi my lovelies, it's Anna from A Stone Tarot and Magic. And today I am going to be sharing with you a love spell. And before I do that, I need to give a disclaimer about it. Um, yeah, so I am against love spells personally. Um, they are terrible because they go against someone's free will. If somebody doesn't want to be with you anymore, you should let them go because they don't want to be with you. So if you're that crazy that you actually really want to do it and trust me I've been there so I'm not judging I'm just saying when I was younger I did this spell not once but twice and both times it worked too well and I could not get rid of this for these people at all like it was bad but it worked so <laughs> um, it's messing with someone's free will and you should not do that but if you're gonna do it I figured I might as well give you one that works and um, isn't crazy having you go source random like phoenix feathers or some shit like that so this is very simple but again I am saying that you would be better off not doing it because it's really desperate and like kind of cringe I'm not gonna lie but hey you do you right I'm just giving you information all right so the supplies that you need are the following you need a red candle it needs to be red yes it does this time the ingredients matter um, you need a sewing needle, like a regular sewing needle, you know, okay. Um, so the incense that I'm using, and you can use whatever incense you want, I guess, um, you know, I'm using Abermelon with some dragon's blood resin and also this um, incense that I made by hand that has rose and jasmine and like some other like floral, you know, some nice smelling uh, flowers. And then I have some rose pieces here from a rose bouquet that I got. And so if you keep, if someone gives you flowers and that person, keep the flowers, keep the, dry the flowers so that you can use them in spells later. Okay, so let's pretend this is from my ex that I don't have right now that I want back, which I wouldn't, but let's pretend. Okay, um, I would add this into the incense, these roses, because it came from him, right? Okay. You need some parchment paper okay I like parchment because it burns better and um, it's just easier to write on um, I have a writing utensil here but this is a glass or crystal pen and then I use dove's blood for ink um, so you're gonna be writing down an incantation on this paper um, uh, before you you know burn it <laughs> okay but um, so you're gonna have some oils to dress your candle and you need some kind of knife to carve into the candle. So I have my little mini theme. And um, so you would write the person's name into the candle, right? You carve it in there as many times as you want. And then you would dress the candle with some oil. So the oils that I chose that I find are effective and have worked for me every time are um, Lust, Desire Me Oil, Love, and Manifestation. These are the oils that I use personally, but um, Anything along those lines works, okay? So I would, I'm not doing this spell because I'm not doing it <laughs> um, ever again, but I'm gonna show you how to do it without doing it myself. So I carved the name of my victim into the candle and then I dressed the candle, which is, um, in case you don't know how to do that, let me just show you really quickly. Um, you take the oil and you know, just get some on your finger and then like at the midpoint of the candle, just kind of go in a circle and then go up and then down. Like so, midpoint up, it doesn't really matter how you do it, but that's like how I learned to do it. Um, and then I would do that with all of the oils, okay? Um, yeah, so these are helping to set intention. None of these items have any magical power in them themselves. It's all you. Remember this. If you learn anything from me, please remember that. Um, so yeah, that's what we do here. So. Next, I'm gonna write on the paper and I'm gonna show you what it says. I'm gonna give you the incantation. Okay, so I'll be right back.
Okay, so what the spell says is these are the words you're going to repeat three times. Well, first of all, hang on. Actually, let me, let me do that. Okay, so you're going to take this needle, okay? And you're going to take the needle and you're going to stick it through the wick of the candle, like down towards the base at where the wax is, basically. Okay, not to stab yourself. But if you do stab yourself, your blood on it would actually enhance it, so there's no... You really want to make sure that it's in there good so you don't want it falling out in the middle of the spell. Okay, so hopefully you can see that this candle has a, a pin through it now. Okay, needle. All right. So now, you would go ahead and you would light your incense, light your candles, do whatever you do. If you call quarters, draw circles, I don't do any of that, um, but like if you do, you do you. All right. I will light candles. Um, I'm gonna light that candle, not this one. <laughs> but, and then incense. Um, okay, the incantation is as follows. You would say, you would ground and center, and you would think very intently about what you want, that you want this person back. Okay, I did not use bend over or compelling or anything like that because I want this person to come back to me because they actually love me and they realize it in my absence, right? Okay, you could use those things if that's not the case, but I don't recommend it. Um, so what you're going to say is you're going to ground center and you're going to really focus. You're going to focus. If you got a picture of the person, put it underneath the candle holder and you're going to say this three times. Needle in the flame, needle of fire, pierce his thoughts or hers, make him right and agonize until his heart turns back to me. You say that three times. And then at the end, you say, if you wanna do a binding, you know, like, like all the powers of three times three, the spell went around, shall be the cause no harm, no return on me, as I do will to be, whatever. If you wanna do that, or you just say, so it is, or so it shall be, whatever, however you wanna close it out, that's fine. And then you're gonna take this paper that you wrote the incantation on, and you're going to fold it. One, two, three times and then you're going to catch this on fire with the wick of this candle right here that has the needle in it and you're going to put it in your cauldron and let it burn and you're going to wait until this candle goes out right like you do not put it out on your own it has to burn all the way down and then your spell is done and this person will come back to you is it a good idea no does it work yeah let me know your experience in the comments all right guys Best of luck. Remember, don't fuck with free will. Just saying. You wouldn't like someone doing that to you. All right, guys. Blessed be.